A baby Siamang born last summer at the Tulsa Zoo is now seven months old. And News on 6's Meredith McCown joins us from the exhibit at the Tulsa Zoo. Good morning. Good morning. Baby Pandai is growing up fast, and I'm joined by Sarah Duncan. She's the zookeeper here at the Tulsa Zoo. Sarah, tell me about how Pandai's doing. He is about seven and a half months old now. He is. He was born on August 8th, and he is just, as we would say, growing like a weed. He's starting to become very independent. He's exploring the world. He's doing a lot more climbing and running and interacting, uh, not only with the enrichment that we give him and his parents, but with the little deer who lives here as well. And we see him now with his mom and his dad to the side. You said they're a pretty tight-knit family. They are. Siamangs are a species of gibbon, and they are the most tight-knit family species. So mom, dad, and the baby will be together for several years. Mom's doing most of his care right now. Uh, her name is Boomerang, and dad, John B, will take over a lot of that care as he gets older. They're so cute, and it is about breakfast time. You said this happens two or three times a day where they get fed. Tell me kind of how this process works. So we will offer them food again several times a day. Um, you can see that Mo is going to offer them some lettuce now. We will do food in several ways. We always try to make them have to work a little bit for it. In the wild, they would have to forage for their food. So we will sometimes put it into uh, puzzles for them to find. We might spread it around, um, but always try to make it fun and interesting and make them use their brains a little to figure out their food. Uh, they're getting some romaine lettuce, which is Boomerang's favorite food Aww. on the planet. And they are also going to get some peanuts, which is Jombie's food. Little, our favorite food. Little Pandai is just eating some solids now. It takes him a long time to chew and swallow. Um, but he does try. He gets excited to come for food for to us because he knows that we always have something good. Um, and so he's starting to come over now and get really excited and put things in his mouth like any little toddler. He's still learning, right? He's still so young. And so tell me about his day-to-day -day, um, in the past seven months. You said you've kind of seen him gradually become more independent, too. He has. When he was first born, he would uh, stay on mom pretty much 24-7. And now he's starting to uh, swing and what's called brachiate or swing from his arms on the different ropes and the branches that he has. Uh, he's learning to walk. Uh, he's a little better at swinging than walking. Siamangs are made to live in the trees. Uh, he's starting to interact with objects, to grab onto things and to be further and further away from mom and she's allowing that. Absolutely, yeah, he's probably, he's a little ready for that, getting to break away on his own. And um, his name is Pandai. That name was given to him recently, a couple months ago. Tell me how that came to be, how you came up with that. So uh, we chose several names that we thought might be appropriate for him. And then the donors for this particular area of the zoo picked his name um, from what we suggested. Pandai it means clever, which he certainly is, in Malay, which is a language spoken in the area where he would come from in the wild, uh, which is Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia. Um, and so that is how he got his little name. I love it. Very interesting. Um, well, Sarah, thank you so much. And for scheduling this feeding time so we could see them up close. It's been so cool to learn more about them. Thank you. Thank and you. Um, again, baby Pandai, seven and a half months old here at the Tulsa Zoo. And he's growing up fast. I'll send it back to you guys. Look at all those people mm -hmm. at the zoo. <laughs> it's a great morning to be out I there. I should say so. Thanks, Meredith. We appreciate that. It's 949. Tickets are about to go on sale for one of the the country's biggest music festivals. Still ahead, we'll tell you about some of the headlines for this year's Lollapalooza.